David, you're the first again. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. And you know what? I gotta get to signing some stuff. I could talk all day long, um, which would be awesome. I should do one of these again soon because it was so cool. But I'm here to sign stuff. And um, I, sh I should just say that if anybody um, still wants to purchase stuff, you totally can in the next like half hour, um, just go to streamily.com and look up Megan Hollingshead. Um, so number one, I got a pop. This is for James. And James asks me to put my favorite, my quote. And there are so many, cause my was super sassy. Honestly, I keep a list. Um, number one that, that people often like is, uh, I was being kind, not stupid, but I don't love writing stupid. Um, I don't like the word stupid. Um, so let's look up another fun one. Isn't it terrible that I can't just remember these, but you know what? Life. My quotes. Of course, I would love to hear what you guys say. I bet you have good ones too. Oh yeah. Look, you're either a champ or a chump. I think that was from the first episode I was in. Um, sounded like a bad soap opera, to be honest. But then again, who doesn't love a bad soap opera? Don't you have a duel to run off to? Dork. Of course we're friends. Um, well, is that how you got here? By giving up when the odds were against you? Or did you keep on fighting until the very end? Here I come, hot shot. Oh, I love this one. I promised an honorable duel, not an easy one. So when I first started signing pops, people would ask for quotes. And I, so I literally had to go back and watch a bunch of episodes just to get like some juicy little nuggets. So th those are some of them. Um, and it's almost too easy. I play harpy lady in attack mode. Um, so don't you have a duel to run off to? That's a good one. I think so too. I remember from dual identity. She said, here I come hot shot. I like that one too. Did you meet Kylie bear? I have met Kylie bear and, um, would love to run into him again. I haven't seen him at any cons, but we, we chat on Instagram. I, his, I, I love his, um, his, I follow him on Instagram cause he's so dang funny. So I'm going to go with, um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, what did we say? Don't you have a duel to run off to? And this is to James. Two. And just now my Sharpie's like, mm, I don't know if I want to sign plastic. Well, you're going to. To James. No, you're not. You're really telling me no. Let's go with purple. Try one more time. Okay. This is why I brought two. And there's a trick too. Um, uh, hand sanitizer will clean your pops. If you decide you hate an actor and no longer want their signature on your pop, hand sanitizer. There we go. Purple is my friend. And it's my Valentine's friend. To James, all my best. Megan Hollingshead. Erica Schroeder, who, for those of you who don't know, I played my for the first, I think, four seasons. And then when I moved to LA, Erica Schroeder took over the role. And she's amazing. And she's a lovely person. I love her so much. Um, so she and I have signed a couple of the same pops and her penmanship is so good and she writes little hearts and she does things in different colors. Mine's, mine's just my signature and it's a big mess sometimes. So apologies if you want a really perfect signature with hearts, 
you're gonna have to go to Erica. So sorry, James. Um, but on the side, so here's my signature. On the side, I'm gonna write, um, don't you have a duel to run off to? Awesome. Okay, James. Bum, bum, bum. That's coming your way. And what's next? Would you voice a Virtua Fighter character in Virtua? Oh, Virtua? Virtua Fighter 6? I will, you know, call me, producers. I would love to. Um, let's see here. Jared. Jared, I think you're on here. Um, my Valentine post, my Valentine picture. Let's take a look, shall we? I brought all my pictures. Do you play a fighting game character? Do you play a fighting game character, Miss Megan? I, I yes. Um, I've done a bunch of games. Um, so I. Don't, I can't think specifically what I've done or what would count as a fighting game character, but I can do lots of fighting sounds. Mm. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Stuff like that. Um, I could do that all day. I'm going through my pen bag to see what other pens I have. I hope there's a nice Sharpie in here. Nice black Sharpie. So checking it out. All right, so this is for Jared. And Jared is getting the beautiful My Valentine print. I love her, right? Making sure I'm spelling your name right. R-R-O-D. All my best. And then my, as neat a signature as I can muster. All right. That's going out. You'll be getting that in maybe a week or so. If you're ever in the Power Rangers, who would you play as? Um, I, th I think I just get to pick a color, right? I would want to be purple. Purple is my favorite color. Or leopard. Is there a leopard Power Ranger? That'd be badass. Um, if there's not, there should be. Um, this is for Daniel Rangiku. Going back to the box. In case you think I have some sort of fancy setup here, I have some um, shelves from Ikea that I reclaimed from uh, basement storage. Do you remember working on Tama and Friends? Wow! Did they dub the whole series? I cannot tell you. I did work on Tama and Friends. Wow. I just remember that it existed. I don't remember what I did. But... It was awesome. That show, they were tiny little animals, right? Wasn't Tama a cat? Where's Rangiku? Here she is. She's so hot, I can't even stand it. I don't know, I used to think my Valentine was the hottest chick I played. Although hot doesn't just come from um, boobs. Um, but hot is attitude, right? And Rangiku and Mai both have plenty of that. Um, to Daniel. To Daniel. And I'm going to give you a roar, Hanako. Um, in my first... Uh, return to 10,000 year blood war. Um, all of a sudden I'm like, is it 10,000 year blood war or a thousand year blood war? It's a long time blood war. Um, literally my, the first episode Rangiku appeared in, these are my lines. Uh, Captain! Uh, Captain! Captain! There you have it. You're welcome. Okay, this is going out to Daniel. So I mail things to Streamily in LA and they mail them to you. I'm sorry for the extra step. 
but I will, I'll put these in the mail tomorrow. So hopefully they'll be super fast. What else? What other awesome things do I get to sign? Obey one cannoli. Okay, that's hysterical. I love your handle. Um, can you do Adion, Adion from Gurren Logan? Ah, I can't. I just looked her up. I just reminded myself of her voice like a couple weeks ago, but I don't have it on the tip of my tongue right now. I, you know, I'm going to make a list though. Um, there's something else someone asked for that I couldn't remember. Not Tom and friends, but, uh, something else. Anyway, I'll do some stuff. Working with Ray Chase for bleach that way, since he told me he wants to be a part of it. I don't know. Um, hey, new kid. Baby Groot. <laughs> I don't know. I am Groot. Um, do you do these events often? You know, not, no, not super often, but, um, but I'm going to try to leave, try to leave my Streamily stuff, um, up so that, um, like I could just record something for you rather than doing a live event every time. If you, if someone wanted to purchase something, I could just do like a, a shout out. Ryan asked how undervalued is Ergo Proxy? And I want to say very, my arms are spread apart. You can't see that, but, um, very undervalued Ergo Proxy is so good, not because of me, but because of, um, I think the, cin the cinematicness, it, it, which is totally a word, um, is just so beautiful. It's just gorgeous anime and really well written and a cool experience. I have not met Peter Cullen. I met Frank Welker very briefly, like just like introduction. And I had nothing to say. Like when we, I, I just, I felt stupid and, and dumb video characters of Gurren Logan. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Back to work, Miss Megan. Um, another my Valentine for, and I don't know if this is Andrea or Andrea. I have a neighbor named Andrea and I call her Andrea all the time. And I don't know why. Um, just rude and thoughtless. Um, where's that? My, there she is. And this is for either Andrea or Andrea. If you're here, maybe you will. Yes, there's a former voice director named Andrea Romano. Or maybe it's Andrea Romano because now I'm completely mixed up and can't say anything. Is that really you? My, it is you. I was talking about yesterday. I almost got attacked by Mars. Wow. Um, Stephanie, Ned, Ned, I don't know how to say her last name, Nadolny, and I met her briefly. Yes. Have to go. See you in two weeks. Bye, Giselle. Um, who here watched the Super Bowl? Or as they called it, the Kelsey Bowl? The Kels Bowl? I watched some of it, but I don't know what that means. Oh, Optimus Prime. Yes. And yes. I, I have not met them, but legends. Oh, yes, Princess and the Frog is your favorite Disney movie. I met Ray himself, Jim Cummings. I did not even know Jim Cummings was Ray. I, that's why I love the movie. I love Princess and the Frog because of Ray. Uh, my name, Raymond. My friends call me Ray. It still gets me. And Mama Odie. I mean, the characters in that are just so awesome. And when I was really sick of Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. No offense. Great shows, but like a little saccharine. Um, it was exactly what I needed. I just, I just loved everything about it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I digress. This is for Andrea Andrea. I feel like I should sing while I do this so that nobody's bored. I 
I'm entertaining you with singing while I sign. I can sing while I sign. Um, so that's going out. Into the mail we go. Yes. What you think about the clothes changes for my, like her skirt getting lengthened and giving straps on her blouse and her haircut. Um, I'm all good. I love change. Change is cool. I, I think she looks good. Have you seen The Incredibles? I do love The Incredibles. Um, I love the first one and the second one. Uh, I wish you were Sailor Guardian. Oh, yeah. I've played uh, one evil villain on the latest reincarnation of... Not latest. On one version of Sailor Moon, and it was super fun. Have you ever met Gray Delisle Griffin? I did. Gray and I are with the same agent. I've met her a couple times. Um, she may or may not remember meeting me. <laughs> uh, love the necklace and top. Thank you. Thank you. Tauntaun. Yes. I can do Tauntaun because Tauntaun, ha Tauntaun has one line. Oink. 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 It's the closest I have to a Pokemon. Well, no, now I have a Pokemon who is more Peko. Which, hello, who thinks it would be super fun to be Pikachu and say, Pika, 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 all the time, like it's super easy. Guess what? It's really hard playing a Pokemon. Well, it's hard dubbing a Pokemon because you got to match all that lip flap with weird sounds. And now they don't even want you to just say the name over and over again. You got to make like little animal noises. Um, so it's like... And um, so I'm working with Lisa Ortiz and and it'll just go beep, beep, beep. And then you just see this little character going. And all of a sudden I've got to like make little sounds that fit every mouth movement. And I'm like, oh, crap. This is hard, um, but totally satisfying. And, you know, an hour goes by and I'm doing what I love for an hour. So why am I complaining? I don't know. This is for Austin. This is Rangiku. I call her Peachy Rangiku. And um, I Photoshopped her myself. I gave her that pretty background. I kind of like it. Uh, if you could please write any favorite quote down. I have waited years to say hi to you. So hi, thanks for being a voice in my childhood. My pleasure, Austin. Um, I'm so glad. I'm I'm so grateful to be a part of your childhood. Um, favorite quote. Let's go back to my favorite quotes notes. Now, unfortunately, Rangika's favorite quotes can be a little off color. There, there, drown all your sorrows in my chest. I know what I need, a good hot soak. That's not really off color, but it's not really like warrior Rangiku. Then again, this pose isn't exactly warrior Rangiku. Um, but hold on, I'm a natural leader, so I should be put in charge. Now stop looking so serious over there and come look at these flowers with me. Kind of sweet. Um... Austin, I don't know you well enough to say drown all your sorrows in my chest. I mean, not that I would say it, but Rangiku would say it still. It's a little like, I was going to give that to my mom. Um, I'm going to say I am a natural leader, so I should be put in charge. Um, so. To Austin. And of course, the line I most often um, quote for Rangiku is, Growl! Heineko! Actually, I, I did both during the show. I don't know if they changed it or, I don't know. I don't know if it was just a better translation. I don't know whose idea was to change it, but um, Roar! Heineko! Or Growl! Heineko.
All right. So that is going out to dear Austin. Austin, if you're here, that's coming your way. And um, it's nice to meet you. I guess I didn't really meet you. I can't say that. But I'm glad you're, if you're here, I'm glad you're here. And I'm grateful to be able to send you something super cool. What's your Disneyland memory? Super Bowl champion was in Cavalcade today. What's your fave Disneyland memory? Gosh, I have a bunch. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite was um, the uh, Tiki Room. Tiki, 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 tiki room where the birds sing words and the flowers bloom. And taking my kids, I uh, thought they'd, they'd just be like, oh, Dumbo's dumb. They loved Dumbo so much. And they were like, they weren't little. They were like five and, I mean, you know, they were five and seven. They were little, but they weren't babies. And I was just blown away by how much they loved Dumbo. So that was, those are my favorite Disneyland memories. Oh, and the Jungle Cruise. Gosh, I love the Jungle Cruise. I haven't been on it since the movie came out, so it's probably different, but love it. What can I do next? Shizune and Tauntaun, also for Austin. Part two, if you could also write your favorite quote for Shizune. I always love Shizune and Tauntaun in the anime. Thanks again. Yes. Okay, now we got to find the Shizune and Tauntaun print. Not hard at all. It's right here. Voila. She's in a loving on her Tauntaun. So the reason I got cast as Tauntaun the pig was only because he and Shizune are all in the same scene. So they were like, just let Megan do the pig. Um, not because I auditioned and said oink especially well. Um, what's your favorite Shizune quote? You know... Um, I loved, I loved the beginning of Shizune, you know, as much as I love her being a tough warrior and a healer and her medical, um, jutsu, I loved when she, I loved when Lady Tsunade would go off gambling or drinking and Tsunade would go Aye! and make that crazy manga face with like eyes and teeth. So I is kind of my favorite quote. Um, to Austin. And I spell it A-A-A-A-A-A-I-I-I-I-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. And I'm going to write P.S. Oink. Um, and I tried to make real pig sounds when I first started doing it, like, wait, no, that's not actually a real pig sound. I could probably do better, but, uh, they were like, oh no, we just want you to say oink and make sure you hit that K. We want it to sound very unnatural. All right. Oink. It is. Rangiku Valentine time. Yay! Valentine print. All right. Let's do this. Let's do some Rangiku loving. Except where is she? Where is that print that's so gorgeous? It's not where it is supposed to be. Maybe it is and I just don't see it. Hello, 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 you are so beautiful, and I'm looking for you, and you're not where I think you should be, but here you are. Okay, moment of panic. Runky coo. Now that's a valentine. Uh, you should really consider creating a list of character quotes so that when people ask you to write down quotes, you'll be prepared. <laughs> I should consider writing down a lot of stuff so that I would be prepared. <laughs> I have, I have, I've been, I've been checking my notes. Um, uh, yeah, for sure. 
Um, so this is for Donovan. Something wrong, Giku would say, please. Well, this one is a Valentine, so... I think I can say drown your sorrows in my chest. I think that's okay. It's Valentine's Day. To Donovan. There, there. Drown all your sorrows in my chest. That's going out to you, buddy. Boop. Um, Marshall. Hello, Marshall. Use a purple marker. I love it. I will. Purple is the one that works. And this is the Valentine's Day Mai. And I have her right here. No, I don't. But I have her right here. Uh -huh. And this says, a clever, I challenge you to be my Valentine. See how little my and why is crossed off. It says my Valentine. That's so cute. Uh, I'm sorry if I was about to place an order, but I was going to use PayPal. It didn't go through. Hey, that's a bummer. I'm sorry. Um... I don't know what to do about that. I wish I could help. Tara Sands, big fan. Jesus, <laughs> stop you. Tara Sands, who likes to call me Megan, uh, Megan's hauling head. So do with that what you will. This is for Marshall, and I'm using a purple marker. And I am gonna say, oh my best. Marshall. And um, Marshall, we've met before online. Um, we've definitely exchanged messages before. It's really great. It's really great to send you a photo or another photo, I think. Um, and I'd love to put a little quote on there as well. Uh huh. I feel like we've done a lot of, I've done a lot of quoting on this session. So, um, a couple of, a couple of photos went by without quotes and I'll, you know, put one on before I mail them out. It seems only fair. I've met Tara Strong in Richmond, Virginia. That's cool. Do Jenny and Sharona from Shaman King. I wish I could. <laughs> I will. Let's add that to the list of, um, of things I'll put on a reel soon. I don't, I don't know who Jenny is. I don't think I played Jenny. Or is that for Tara? Is Tara supposed to do Jenny? Tara, who are you in Shaman King? M -m -m my Sharona. And I'm pretty sure that's Lisa Ortiz. But let's, uh, I'll look that up. What else? What else do I get to do? I think there's two other things. One... Heineko Rangiku. Yes. Okay, so um, I have also offered a, not just me, uh, Steve Staley, who plays uh, Hitsugaya, um, who, as you know, is captain to Lieutenant Rangiku. We have a joint photo that we offer that we will both, yeah. I was Ren, Ta Tao Ren from Shaman King. And she sounded very much like Megan Holling said with a deeper register. Rangiku does a lot more for part two of the Thousand Year Blood War. Yes! Hi, 
Grandma Selling said, well, hello. It's good to see you. Toshiro. Yes. Um, so this is for Edwin who says Heineko. So I'm going to put uh, Roar Heineko and then I'm going to send it on to Steve Staley and he can sign it how he likes to. To Edwin Roar Heineko. My babies, that is all I, get, I have to sign for tonight. That's all I get to sign for tonight. But I, um, uh, my store will remain open and uh, I'm happy to sign whatever comes my way. I, like I said, I can do like a little shout out um, and post it as a reel. So if, uh, if I didn't get to you, then I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. That never works. Uh, if I didn't get to you, uh, I can do it that way or, um, or something awesome, or maybe I'll come to a city near you. Uh, let me just double check. I'll do a little refresh here. Cause I know someone said they tried to buy something earlier. No, we're good. I signed everything that I needed. I miss you, Megan Hollingshead and happy Valentine's day playa. Happy Valentine's day back at you. Wolf Hawk love for Shion. Please use Shion's voice and hug me virtually. Um, and we're not going to do anything lame like house. Well, that was me on, um, can't mind fart, but I will hug you virtually as me on. Um, good to see you. Thanks for coming. I won't stick things up your fingernails or try to yank them out tonight because it's Valentine's day tomorrow. That wouldn't be very loving. I'm going to get to do a lot of little uh, character quotes. Um, it's going to be super fun. Have you ever met the celebrity actors? Um, yes, some of them. In Shaman King, Lisa was June Tao, and you were a couple of people like Jenny Tao, etc. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this research for me. How about this one is my... Keep your eyes on me, Yugi. I might just teach you a thing or two. I love that. I'm going to add that to my list. Oh, my. See, this is what I'm talking about. When you, someone asked me, what do I love playing about my? That. Keep your eyes on me, Yugi. I might teach you a thing or Mion can hug me too, I guess, but I really want Shion to hug me. Well, okay, but I don't remember how she sounds. Okay, so this is Shion. <laughs> this is Shion. She has no fingernails. Big hugs. Thanks for coming. I think she sounded like Mion, maybe a little breathier. Big hugs. Thanks for coming. So many sassy my coats. Officer Jenny was one of your roles too. You know what? That is a myth. And I, um, I mean, I said that really sassy to you. You didn't know. A lot of people said I did that role. I did not. Um, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the woman who did Officer Jenny, but she's not. I, I don't think she's acting anymore. Um, so, no, I was not Officer Jenny. It was great to hear you back in Bleach 10,000 Year Blood War. Can't wait for part two. Me neither. Hey, Taylor. I hate to ask. Do you remember when you were Rem from Bo Bo Bo? No, you have stumped me. Either that wasn't me or you totally uh, stumped me. Lee Quick. Yes, Lee Quick was the original officer, Jenny. Thank you. Uh, can I get a hug from Rangiku? Absolutely, bird do. Come on in. As I said earlier, um, what did I say earlier? Uh, they're there. Drown all your sorrows in my chest. And that's Rangiku's chest. Let's be crystal clear. Uh, before I go, can I get a shout out as Nurse Joy? David, your Pokemon will be just fine. Bye-bye. 
Can you tell that Shion is my comfort Higurashi character? I totally can. Your your handle is love for Shion. I totally get it. And I owe you a proper Shion voice. Can you say it's over 9,000s as my or Rangiku? I don't know what that means, but what the heck? Um, Chop Daffy Duck is over 9,000s. I call Harpy Lady. Hey, LJ. Miss you too. Miss you too. All right, team. That's it for me. It was so fun talking to you. I know I talked way too much. Thanks for hanging in there. And um, ciao. Bye.